بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله عليه وسلم as it is already shown in the news channels different news channels the Thar Park is the extremely poverty striking community and this could be witnessed by Zafrullah Shah Saab Shah Saab has moved himself and he has been staying there for the last two days in that community and he has been making documentaries he has been taking pictures he has been putting everything on the record to prove that how social economic downfall is there and the people are requiring our support however i have got reports with myself as well as in one of the newspaper it was mentioned that one of the resident mentioned that in that poor poverty striking community where the people are lacking welfare support lacking food lacking water everything which is required to be an essential part of the life they're lacking that for yeah, this yeah. reason they are dying at this moment so the person when he was asked about these kind of things he goes like we are not well aware whether these things exist or not he is denying the existence of these things like it shows it is witnessed from his words that those things are very far away the things which are essential to survive in this world secondly further i go on like this is not just that the people are lacking the fundings lacking the water support everything the water which is already there is getting slain the county would drink that water there is no water to drink the water which is already available there is getting slain they are unable to drink the water as well the country will remain thirsty if that they if they drink that slain water obviously they have no reason but to die because the water is not water is effective for their health as well furthermore according to the report which is reports and saying is that while this has been a moderately drier year than average by about 30% at his Shahsab has already mentioned for last nearly 6 months there have been no rain at all and this is one of the areas of Pakistan which is at stake at all moment if there is a slightest change in the weather all is gone so they require our support all the people they are also trying to migrate from there but not they are not having any support like if they migrate where would they stay so these are we people who need to go there who need to console them who need to provide them with the, all of the essential needs which they require they require to survive and the most important thing with the shah sab has mentioned about the infants children there as according to the report as many as 47% of the tarpakas infants have been estimated to be acutely malnourished by the wfp that if they the children the women who keeps her baby in a womb for nearly 9 months expecting the child to be the hand of the parents but when the child is born in this situation after some time child is died because he is lacking malnutrition and the doctors who have gone there they can't really do anything as as ilama sahab has already mentioned they could just provide the free check up nothing more they can't provide the medicine from their money so these are we people who need to provide with these kind of all of the things which they require furthermore it is mentioned yes as shah sahab has already mentions about the food which they are eating and this is mentioned in the report which i have taken from the internet there is a woman who goes like we are eating crushed chili with the water nothing more they make the gravy of that they are eating with the water <coughs> what do you think like, would you be able to eat red chili with the water. roti and water? water nobody can but they are trying just to protect themselves secondly when the person was asked at that stage that what are you going to do for your survival if there is no nothing to help you out they pointed towards the goats upon whom they are relying they say first we will sell them after some time if we if we don't get any of the aids we will be forced to eat each other we can't really do anything so i'm going to finish off by one saying that there was a pious saint of almighty allah he he just did ibadat of almighty allah for nearly 60 years while sitting into his chambers as soon as he went out of the chamber he involved into adultery because the shaitan attacked he just ran away towards masjid to do toba before on the way he was about to eat food and he found two hungry people who were beaten by hunger he was having just one loaf of bread he took that into half and gave it to those people who were beaten by hunger despite this he was hungry for some days he didn't eat it and due to hunger that pious saint of almighty allah died when he died when the angels came to punish him for the adultery he has committed almighty allah saved him for what reason just for one loaf which he has given to the people who were suffering from the hunger no. so people please come forward just look into it that they required your support we are human we are muslims Inshallah. and more than that 
they're in our country, they require our support, they're expecting our support. So please come forward and join us with all of what you can do. Jazakumullah khair.